Hi, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishment, and I thought I would jump on here and show you how to make something really fun using book pages. Yes, this was inspired. Um, this video was inspired by Pam at the Paper Outpost, and I am linking her video below. Here is something um, you can, here is one made with a regular, well, kind of an older, um, an older dictionary page, and I inked around and sewed it. Here is one made with a brand new, uh, not so old, um, page, <laughs> book page, and I inked around that, and I did not sew it. This one was made by a super old hymnal, very, very old, and as you can see, I put uh, had to put washi tape on the side because it was so old that it started to crack. So, one of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're making these is the size of the page in your junk journal. So, uh, and I will show you what I mean in a minute. Anyway, we'll put these right here. I'm going to get a, a book page, just any old, I think I'm just going to use a regular book page. Here's an old book that I have. Um, if it's really old, if it's a really old page, book, then you want to use two. I might use two anyway. Uh, I don't know. Why not? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to... Um, make this into a square. So usually what you can do is use the end of the, excuse my kids are acting like kids, um, and use the edge of the type, if you see that right there, to, to, um, <sighs> sorry about that, my kids, um, to line it up so it'll be straight. And then you just cut that part off. Easy peasy. Just cut it off like that. And use those for scraps, throw them away, whatever. So when you're looking at your book page, this is what I was talking about. You want to, while this is as a diagonal, you want to see this is six and a half. So if your book page is less is less than six and a half, this isn't going to fit. So you want to keep that in mind. Now what I like to do is take two of them and get out my, let me see my glue book here. My glue box here. And I'm going to glue them together. This is really, you don't really need to do this if you've got a pretty substantial page, but if you've got an old page, you definitely want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is do put them together and I probably let's see, line it up. Let's line it up. And some of the time with this and make sure this is not gonna work for me, but that's okay. It's okay. Um so we have this. And it'll be nice and sturdy. And you may want to like, I may want to trim it up just so it's not like, see where it's, I don't know if you can see that little bit right there, but I'm going to trim that up so it's nice and pretty. I'm going to put this back. So what we have is this. Now, if you want to ink it, this is probably a good time to do so. So you have to decide which is the front and which is the back. The back, hmm, I guess you don't really need to do that. But what you need to, the first thing you need, okay, I digress. Where this middle is, all you need to do is bring this over, and I'm going to put that like that. I'm going to line it up with my grid so that I know it's straight. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Maybe a little more. I want to make sure what I wanted, what I try to do is make sure that I have an even amount on either side. If you know what I'm saying, like this, these two are even. Okay. And now, if you want to ink, 
this is when you ink. And of course, you just want to ink all the parts that are showing because this will be glued down to your book page. So you won't need to ink that because it's not going to be showing. Right? Right. I'll bring this out. Okay. I have a confession to make. I <clears throat> really, I made these for a swap and I liked it so much I pulled out the swap so I could keep them. Okay, yeah. Because I really think they're they're really awesome. So I'm gonna take my glue and put a little spot here. And right there. And what I really like to do is use, uh, one of my favorite things to do is like this one. I like to use a label on the middle. And you don't have to, but I think it looks really cool, so. Um, these are just labels that I got from Tracy Fox, Love Junk Journals, and I just, I think I'm going to do that. I love that. Okay, put that there. Okay, I do, I like that. And then you can utilize, if you want to make the inside pretty like I did, you can utilize some stickers. And I have these um, Aquarian sticker book, or you can use washi stickers, but if you use washi, you're probably going to see through it. So I'll just come in here. Ooh, how about, um, I like these because, and I like to try to, since this is that color, I like to try to get the kind that are on this color. I don't know, it's just me but you don't really have to. How about this? I'm gonna put, make this like a, a botanical thing. I like that. And then on the bottom, <clears throat> maybe this one. Isn't that pretty? The other thing, another thing you can do is stamp on them, which is, which works. So what do you do with them? Well, you put them on your book page and you use them to put stuff in. So what you can do is like, I made some bookmark. You can put, you know, a bookmark in there like that. Um, this is an embossed one. Well, actually I used, um, I used texture paste, put something like that. Whoop. Okay, this little guy, he's like, I am not going to stick the texture paste, get that in there. This is one that I made, just an old piece of book page that I stamped. Um, also, one of my favorite things to go in there, let me see if I can find one. Oh, here. Uh, we made these earlier with these um, little um, wraparound and this going inside and with the, with the tie. And I love the way this looks because that little tie comes out there and that's so friggin' cute y'all look at that I love that but you can put anything in these and then you put them in the book page. I like this because no well, with the tie right there because then it won't fall out it's really cute so that's it that was a quick one let me know what you think down in the comments I really hope you like this this is just another way to use up those book pages yay and until next time I'll see you later Bye.